Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to share with you my favorite Cherny Intermediate Technique exercise books. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. Also I offer online piano lessons if you're looking for one there's going to be information in the description below. I talked about Cherny many times on this channel and I do know that many people hate him and other people love him. I'm kind of in between. I feel that the exercises can be very good for certain people, not so good for other people. It really depends on what kind of music you like and how serious you are about your piano development. If you are serious about technique, then these exercises can really help master certain challenges and make your playing more professional and healthier. I want to share two books here that I absolutely love for intermediate students and, and for anyone, as a matter of fact, who is wanting to refresh certain technical aspects of piano playing, but doesn't want to spend months and months on learning really long studies. Because the thing with Cherny is he has so many books, and I, again, I've talked about this in a previous video, and I think I've got 30 Cherny books, but he has far more than that, and many of them have very similar or identical patterns, but one of them is slightly harder or faster than the previous one, but they are kind of the same. And there's no point in doing all of them in order because you would get very, very bored because many of them will sound very similar and use the same patterns. Now, some of the books have quite nice melodies, other ones feel more like a finger exercise. I'm not going to talk about the beginner ones, so if you're a very beginner, these are going to be too hard for you. But if you are an intermediate, early intermediate, late intermediate, intermediate or early advanced, then you can have a look at these two books. One of them is 30 New Studies in Techniques, which is Opus 849, and the other one is 168 Measure Exercises, Opus 821. The reason why this one became a big favorite of mine recently, the 821 168 Measure Exercises, is because I find that many, many students, especially the younger ones, don't have the patience to learn two, three page studies. And if you only want to really focus on one issue like double thirds or a certain left hand scale, then I think these eight measure studies are really good because you can learn them very quickly, even though they are quite difficult, but you don't have to spend months and months memorizing them. The problem with Cherny, or not problem, but the issue with Cherny is that many of the exercises, in fact, most of the exercises are really fast. So they all say Allegro, Presto, and they are kind of virtuosic exercises, so not about slow, expressive, lyrical stuff like Largo or Lento. Most of them are really fast, and in order to play very fast, you have to memorize the music unless your sight reading is insanely good. And although most of the exercises are quite easy to read, you still need to memorize them. And when you have to memorize something, it's much easier to memorize an eight bar piece of music than a five page study. So that's why this book became one of my top, top, top favorites for intermediates because you can get the same benefit as from the longer studies, but these ones are going to be much shorter. You don't get bored of them because they are short. They still have a really nice melody. I think they're really fun to play. And I find my students enjoy these more than certain other books. The book has so many technical challenges. And as I said, 160 exercises. Of course, you don't have to do all of them, but you can pick and mix and match and find the ones that you have difficulty with and work on those etudes. The end of the book gets quite advanced. So I th it's not specifically progressive, but from looking at it, the first few pages are definitely a lot easier than the end of the book. So I would say the beginning or the first half of the book is kind of early intermediate, intermediate, and the end is late intermediate, advanced. Now this one, 30, new studies in techniques or technique is a little bit different in the way that the studies are longer. Most of them are two pages long, but these ones do have a very nice tune to them as well, a melody, so they're more fun to play than many other technical studies. This one is supposed to be between 599 and 299, so 599 is the practical method for beginners and 299 is the school of velocity. 599 is, Opus 599 is kind of from grade one or before grade one to grade four, and 299 is kind of grade four to grade six. 
depending on how fast you play, obviously. And this one is supposed to kind of bridge the gap between the two, so it's more virtuosic, but not quite as dense as 299 and not quite as fast. So if you have intermediate students who struggle with 299 or you struggle with 299, then this one is much better. Slightly shorter studies, but easier to play and less fast. And again, they kind of cover the same technical challenges as 299, but in a slightly more moderate version. So this one is if you don't have a lot of time for studies and you really want to target issues, eight measure exercises, 30 studies in techniques is slightly longer if you enjoy more the churny exercises and you want to give yourself a longer workout in the technical uh, challenges. Well, this was my short video about Cherny Intermediate. I just wanted to share this with you because I've been really enjoying playing from this book and teaching from this book. And um, if you have any questions about these, leave them in the comments. I, I, I do believe that these Cherny videos are kind of helpful because when I first started working with the Cherny books with my students, I was overwhelmed by how many books there are and how similar the exercises are and no one really knows where to start. When I was a child, I did 599 and some 299, but that's that for me, that was all of Cherny. I didn't know there was other Cherny, and after that, I just did other pieces. But um, obviously, there are far more Cherny exercises and far nicer ones than 599, so there's a whole lot to choose from. And again, if you do enjoy these exercises, they are really beneficial. If you hate Cherny and the Cherny sound, then don't do them because there's no point. You can find similar challenges in more um, kind of performance pieces like Bergmüller or Chopin, but obviously some of them are going to be a lot harder and a lot longer. So thanks very much for watching and see you soon.